Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's Nightfall, The Corrupted. I'm running with Oxtrader, bottom tree of the subclass for a faster run speed which helps with momentum and grenades and melee charge back faster when you're critically injured. We're running with Midnight Coop for uh, primary, Arkmananen, yep, it's back for energy and Whisper of the Worm for heavy and I'm using the Raiding Flux. So we're using for our modifiers, we're using heavyweight, we use momentum and solar burn. So as soon as you drop in, just head on over to the right hand side, jump across the canyon. Because the only ad we really need to kill to get into the strike is a big taken cabal. So we'll attack him from down here. Now I'll get this out of the way now. Probably somebody at some point is going to ask me why I haven't used the sleeper. I'm not using the sleeper because... It's just such a boring weapon, seeing it everywhere now. Uh, I don't use it anywhere. And it's a shame because I actually enjoy the sleeper, but until it becomes, and until they take the training wheels off it, I won't be featuring it. But that's not to say I have anything against people who do use it. Unless you're running a four team in Gambit constantly with it, then I might have an issue. But it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's everywhere now. It's too much. And I hope that the changes that they make, I mean, it's just. Why why mourn about not having random rolls when everybody, not everybody, but a large percentage of the community are going to run one weapon as a heavy? It's, it makes no sense. And it takes the competitive edge and it's just, it takes the competitive edge out and it's it's just boring. It's just so repetitive. And uh, yeah, anyway, so if you're using Sleeper, then Sleeper will work here because obviously Whisper did. So we just run past all these ads and get to the first main encounter. Now the first encounter is the 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 kind of circular room where the shielded ads spawn and you've got to hit them with uh, with orbs to take their shields down. Basically, what I do here is I make sure I take down all the ads because the, these little take and throw can really make life difficult with their their focused fire. Uh, so once you once I start it, I head over at the right, and I I'm gonna clear all the ads, try and clear all the ads as many as I can see, before I attack the shielded ads, and that's why the midnight coop is so kind of good. It's not not really good against heavier duty ads, but against these little little annoying ads. Obviously, it's got rampage, and it's got outlaw. So you get the faster reload and the more damage it just. It's just, I just really like it. I like everything about it. I never really used it in year one, but I'm really, I've really warmed up to it uh, since Forsaken come in. Simply because it was the hand cannon I had that I didn't think had been affected by anything that when Forsaken came in. So I just started using it for no other reason than than that. That I always used, I always used the the crucible hand cannon. It's been that long since I've used it. I can't the better devils. <laughs> I nearly forgot what it was called there. And um, it just never seemed to do anything after Forsaken come in, so I just stopped using it. And this was the hand cannon I had in my inventory, so that's kind of how I started using it. So the strategy for taking these bosses down is you can you need to manipulate their position to take them away from the orb you want to get. They will they will actively come after you, so you can make them come across the map. Whereas the second wave, after you take these down, they're more territorial. They they will move, but they won't chase you. So, and don't worry about attacking the same ad. Don't don't think you've got to take one ad's shields down. Just, you know, once you get it, just see what ad you can hit and just throw it. Now, as you can see here, we created an explosion, which took down two ad shields. So that that that's also a good thing. Now that one of these ads is, a, is an ultra, the other two are just elites. So the elites take one shot to take down, but the actual boss himself takes a couple. So now that he's down, we've only got we've only got one left, so we've got a bit more freedom to make it round the map. And then once this boss, once this ad is down, then we're gonna go right back to doing exactly what we've done before. We're gonna take down the ads and then attack the bosses. Now I think I think on this that this run. Uh, I think what happened is I thought I took all the ads and thought it was golden, but it turned out it wasn't. So there was still a couple left. It wasn't a big deal, but just for moving forward, uh, if you're if you're trying this as your first nightfall, if if you used to solo nightfalls but you're not, you don't know if your power level's high enough, 
that's my recommendation is make sure you take the, all these ads down and it just makes life a little bit easier another thing and you'll see that i'm not really i'm not really sticking to my own advice here one thing i try and do is before i attack an ad an enemy a shielded a boss or, or whatever make sure your health is is going at least it's going back up you know and i don't actually do it because i have done this been doing this stuff for for quite some time so i kind of got a feel for when i you know when i'm safe to attack and when i'm not but if you're doing one of these for like the first time or it's been a while since you sold just be careful don't attack when you don't have to you know and as you've seen there, the, the void orbs that are, that are rotating around that centerpiece, they are physical. They're not just there for show. They can hit you. They can damage you. Now, I was, I'm really happy with this run. Uh, I, I tried it for the first time last night, and I just... Tiredness or whatever. First time I'd really come into it. Because when I'd done the Corrupted Strike as part of the story, you know, when, when, it, when it came out, I actually joined a team that were at the boss. And I landed, and they killed the boss. So I never had a clue how to do this. And I didn't really want to attempt it and start getting in and doing it when I felt like my power level might let me down. And being away on holiday for the week and, you know, I've really struggled to make, you know, really positive strides towards becoming a high level. Now, part of it is I know that there were some people who who executed some, I won't say cheats, but some exploits to get their power level up. I'll never do that. There's just no point in that at all. But it, I'm, I'm, no salt, no salt for me, no, no, not throwing anything at anybody. I just, I've struggled to level up from, for whatever reason. So now I'm feeling strong enough to do the, the solo nightfalls again to the point where I can do a guide, not just, look, I managed to get through it. That I can actually go, yep, yeah, this is the easiest way to do this. So now that, so obviously we took the, these ads down. That opens us up to the next section. The next section is, this is why I equipped an arc subclass and an arc energy weapon when I've went solar burn. Because you do, you do it's a hive strike, you are going to come up against arc shields. So it's always good to be able to take those arc shields down. Now, I could have done this part a lot faster. I could have just got the whisper out and finished all the ads. But I try, I, I completed this nightfall directly before this run. And it wasn't a one phase. I'd missed, I missed the boss's head on like my third shot. Uh, and it was, it was slightly annoying because I rushed the shot. And then, so obviously I had to go into the ascendant realm and do all that. And I started to run out of heavy. So that's why you're seeing me conserve heavy ammo. Because I didn't feel like, I, I don't have heavy weight on what uh, a heavy lifter, whatever it's called, the 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 perk that allow you know you find more heavy ammo. I didn't have that, so I I was conserving my heavy in case I didn't drop any. But it turned out I dropped a heap, and I know I've got heavy weight on, which should mean that they drop more often, right? But they didn't in the last run. I really was like, oh my god, what's going on here? So now that we're at this section, we've cleared out these stairs. There's a couple of arc shielded knights. There's four of those shriekers, three or four. I know I'm struggling to remember if it's three or four. I think it's four. There's that one, which is a two-shot uh, boss, uh, two-shot two shrieker, more of an more of an elite sh shrieker than an, uh, more of an ultra shrieker than an elite. And I think the other ones are elites because they're just one hit. So don't push, don't push in to the point where you're, you're, you're in their sights before you're ready to shoot at them. Clear out these knights and then attack the ogre, the, the the shriekers because the next phase the next down the next boss phase next next encounter is at the top of the stairs to our right so we can't have these guys behind us that's why we're clearing these guys i think i think when it comes to this strike i'm 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 I think one of the things that i like about i think the boss battle if i'm being honest it's not my favorite it isn't my favorite i think it's a bit of a mess actually but that's just my opinion I, but I love the strike. The strike's a beautiful strike. And I like the idea of going into the Ascendant Realm on each encounter. I, I, I enjoyed it. But uh, I don't know what the strike-specific weapon is yet. So the next video I'm going to do after this is the Warden Nightfall. 
because the warden's it's dropping a hand cannon that's meant to be really good so we're going to be going for that because being a hand cannon user I, I and 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 from what i've heard about the weapon it's probably going to be something i'll enjoy using so as it says i i, I will be showing you guys where the collectible is in here it's at bones of amkara i'll show you the location of that and this is as i've said it's a one phase on the boss which i was really impressed with I was really impressed that I managed to get it because I didn't mean to get it. I didn't go for it, actually. It just happened. So, very very cool. Very cool to get that. And cool to finally have my first Forsaken Nightfall completion. Uh, solo Forsaken Strike Nightfall completion. I have sold a couple of Nightfalls since Forsaken's been out, but I haven't done a Forsaken Nightfall. So, now that we're at this stage, now that we're at this is the Ogre section. The, where we are right now is where we're going to attack both the ogres from. So the hive one will come out, and the hive one will just about always come right. So it's very easy to pin them down with the headshots. And then I reloaded, which I move forward. And so that activates the the ascendant side of this, and you just attack attack the ogre from the same side. So the ogre went left. I I got him to turn around by critting him. And that's them gone. Once you took both ogres, you just jump up to this balcony on the right-hand side and make it all the way to the portal. Don't worry about any more of the ads. And that's this section done. Uh, well, again, this ascendant part is, is brilliant. And it being a hive strike, you know with it being a hive strike that it's going to be relatively long. You know, you, you, there's going to be some length in it. And I found this one to be quite... Area-wise, just the amount of ground you cover, it's quite a long strike. Uh, beautifully made. Be Bungie really done it. You know, if you compare this to something like I don't know, a Garden World. A Garden World was a nice strike, but if you compare this to that, there's just they've you they've really pulled out all the stops. This, the corrupted so far is a strike that I think fits within the Destiny strike playlist. That, that you know it's, it's along the same lines as the original strikes they come out with and and i thought that you know sabbath and song they were all very good strikes not a big fan of the any, anything that went made you go through the made you go through the infinite forest not a big fan of that uh tree of probabilities is fine garden world's okay but you know zol was i wasn't a big fan of the zol strike either to be fair uh, no crisp was okay. No crisp was quite well well made, but uh, this is definitely this is definitely a very good strike. deserves deserves its, uh, deserves all the plaudits it's getting at the moment. So now that we're here, I'm going to point out something that I noticed after I made the video. Where you can see my health there, I'm like at about a third something. Never let yourself stay there for any length of time because all it would take is one sniper shot and it's over. And it, we're quite close to the end, so it's it's bad bad that I've allowed myself to do that. So it would take no time at all to turn around, run up back up to the top of the stairs, and prop momentum. It wouldn't take any time at all to do that. When you're moving to a new area, always make sure you don't get. And I think what happened with with myself here is I knew I could kill these enemies. I knew there was a sniper on the right, but it actually gave me a bit of a start when he sniped me. And I've went up and I've thought, should I shoot him? No, uh, you know what? I'll just go and get my health back, which is very clever, very clever on my behalf, because I should never have went down there with with without the full health. Uh, and I am trying to conserve heavy ammo because the time I've done it before, I never I never got the one phase like I said. So I went into the ascendant realm and I actually was struggling with heavy ammo. But this time, having the advanced knowledge of what was involved, I never missed. I I it just melted her with the with this with the whisper so there's a yellow bar down the bottom here once you've cleared that the ads there's a yellow bar take him and move on to the next section and a lot of these sections i don't really see it as cheeses and or exploits the game allows you there's nothing no mechanic to stop you from you have to stay here till you clear ads so if that isn't there then the game is allowing you to do that it's not it's not a trick or a cheat or a glitch. The game is allowing you to run to the next section. So because we've got momentum on, we now are going to run practically at the boss. With one stop to show you where the arm car bones are. 
And when we get to the boss, I'll speak a bit about the boss strategy. So the way the boss strategy works is you'll, you'll get to the boss, the boss will teleport to the right, and then she'll spawn tons of enemies. Now there's yellow bar, it's like all elite uh, uh, goblins. They're not called goblins, they've got horns. Uh, they they spawn the same. They are they like elite acolytes maybe because they spawn acolytes. They they separate and create more acolytes. So if you don't clear them, you can be overrun with acolytes very quickly because there's quite a lot of them and they hit hard. The weapons hit hard. So uh, you want to clear all those ads as soon as the boss appears, and that's why I went raid and flux with you know the arc strider with raid and flux. Where we're going now is I'm going to take you to the Amkara Bones. So once you get here, go all the way along to the right. And you can drop down just a little drop uh, off this 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 area here. You'll see and exactly where I'm shooting is exactly where the Amkara Bones are. So I hope I hope if you haven't got them, that will help, I, I, I guess. So now we're just going to run all the way to the boss. And like I say, we're just going to go. She'll be in the center. And we're going to activate her. And she'll go right, and then she'll sp she'll spawn a heap of these enemies, because I've got a, and and if you're doing the, the warlocks, the void subclass would be good for it. The hammers would be good. There's lots of subclasses that would be good for, for clearing the ads, even a tether, you know. But I find they seem to run away if you don't if you don't get on them pretty quickly. They they run. So a, any kind of ad clearance you want, but make sure you clear all those ads because it's not worth attacking the boss. While there's still ads up. Just no point in doing it. Because you, you're giving yourself the chance to, to fail. So you know, you're know you increasing your chances to fail actually. So as soon as we get to the bottom. Like I've said a number of times now. We're going to go right. And and the good thing about the, the, the Arc Strider is. She has like a. Like nearly every ad in Destiny. Every boss in Destiny has a real. You you get too close to them and you, you deal with a real big kind of stomp mechanic. She doesn't quite have a stomp, but she has something similar. And the, the, it can push off the map. The Arc Strider, by very its nature, will bring you help save you if she kicks you off the map. So there it is. It's, it's very similar to a stomp, a stomp mechanic. And she blasts you away. If she does blast you off with, with the Arc Strider, you can use that there, that right shoulder to bring you back and then use your jump to save you so now that now that we've done that now we're going to take our shield down so it's three of these orbs when they hit her and they have a little bit of track and as you can see i've thrown that one miles past her and it still tried to track so you don't have to be too accurate but it is three so as you'll see i thought i might have hit her with the last one i didn't the first one didn't hit sorry so i've still got one to throw and then as soon as we throw it we're right into a sniper, and it's five shots. I think it's five shots to put her down. And as you can see, one, two, three, four, four shots. Four shots kills her. And the only explanation I can give for that is when you're critting her, and you're, you're actually pushing her head back, you're stunning her, that's what stopped her from teleporting faster. So there you go, guys. And as you can see, the game's like, no, there's no way you should have been able to beat her because she's still kind of hitting me. <laughs> uh, but it's 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 it is what it is. That's how he that's how he one phase the boss. Thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out any you know the next nightfall video, which hopefully will be up tomorrow. And I will see you guys in the next video.